Welcome back to another Heiji review. Now, let's be honest, we've all watched Tendai, but how many of you have said, man, I really wish I could be that tentacle monster? Heiji review. Every now and then, there's one of those indie games that comes along and is like, I want to know more about that. And Carry On was specifically one of those games, a game that promised to give you control of being the monster and tormenting all of these humans while somehow introducing a new mechanic of how do you control a monster with all sorts of tendrils and tentacles and how is that fun? Because I have played games where you are the boss and one of the biggest challenges of being the boss is bosses are overpowering and the whole point of the, the whole fun in beating a boss is the fact that you are the underdog and you have to overcome the challenge and beat it. So when you are already this overpowered the beast, how, where's the challenge? Where's the reward? How is it fun? And carry on, and I really hope I'm pronouncing that right, otherwise I'm going to be annoying a lot of you with poor pronunciation throughout this review. Um, carry on does just that in the sense that it lets you feel powerful, but if you're not too careful and you try to rush like I often do in my games, you will get torn apart and shredded apart by bullets. So this is kind of an inverted horror game. The, the whole atmosphere is all about you're you're some you're you're pretty much a creature that escapes your containment tank and you are running around this kind of scientific lab um, killing anyone in your path specifically those who are shooting at you and you are finding other tubes which grants you more powers which gives you more access to other areas to find more powers and so on and while this is all happening you get a few flashbacks and some story bits about what's going on but if I recall correctly, there is there's no text boxes. There's very the the whole story is up to you, the player, to interpret, which is how I think a proper Metroidvania should be done. And by the way, this game is a Metroidvania. I don't know outside of Castlevania. I, I for someone who loves Metroidvania so much, I feel I don't review a lot of them on this channel. But here we are. It's a Metroidvania review. Um, the main mechanics of Carry On is pretty much you moving around. Let's talk about controls, because that's the first thing that really surprised me at how good it is. So let's say you have a hallway, and you are this blob in the bottom, and you want to go to the right. All you got to do is just pretty much, it's almost like controlling a mouse on a screen using a keyboard. That's the best way I can explain it, where you have pretty much free reign to move around everything, but then the game takes care of the animation of moving your tentacles and all that around so that it looks like it makes sense. But as the player, it kind of feels like you're just hovering and you say, I want this blob to be here. And then the game takes care of filling in the between of what that motion actually looks like. And somehow that actually ends up being quite intuitive. Intuitive. So the motion is very good. Um, the, the base gameplay is pretty much moving and if I recall correctly, attacking. And then later on, you get some really cool abilities, which we'll get into. Now, the attacking part, I think, really showcased a little side of me that I didn't quite know I had. You know, like how kids who, who pull like bugs apart and then they're kind of said to be sociopaths or something when they grow up? I think this game brought out a little side of me because when I saw a human cornered um, in, in a corner, I would just like... <laughs> creep up very slowly as this tentacle blob and I would actually draw out the process of grabbing and eating this human because they act, they have like they scream and they flail and I'm like well if I'm going to be a good monster I can't just make this death quick I have to actually make the human feel the the, the fear you have to let all of the um, the adrenaline take over their body so when you chew into it you get that mm, you get that adrenaline kick from every human that you bite um, so that was that was my my surprise a new side of me that came out playing this game. Uh, as you progress through the game, you get to increase your mass, which gives you different abilities. So when you're a really big blob, you can um, you can actually ram through crates and stuff, opening new passages. Uh, you can there's something else that you can do when you're big. Oh, when you're very small, uh, you can like shoot a web, and that helps you like hit switches through grills stuff like that. Can also like pull switches down without webbing there's one very cool ability which is like one tentacle you can go on and, and you can like take over the mind of a human and then you can actually move around as a human and shoot and do stuff um there's 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 more i think there was an electric 
or, or maybe it's like you, you can crystallize a shield around you so that you can repel damage for a while. And then you can swim and turn into um, a bunch of like little worms to get through uh, tight spaces and stuff. So the the abilities are very cool. They're very on brand. The tone is great. Um, the, the criticism I have for the game is the same that every other review has is, is the fact that there's no map and everything kind of sort of looks the same and it's quite easy to lose track of where you are because everything is interconnected. I think there's a hub world. I'm not even sure. That's how lost I was because I'm pretty sure you can go to this hub world, which looks like all the other worlds, and that's where you find doorways to go into the sub worlds. But it, it is not clearly mapped out. It's a little hard. If you're lucky enough, you might stumble into this room that is a room that gives you the status of the whole game and it says you what you've collected in every kind of room. Um, I think I've made it there once or twice and it was actually quite hard to find. So I wasn't able to go back there every time. When you're in front of a door, it also tells you if you've found the hidden collectible in that room and if you've done everything that you needed to do. So for those who are completionists who like to collect, there is that component to this game. I am one of those people and the collectible in here didn't really... This is a game that once I've played through it and completed it, I was very much okay to put it down. Like it was the perfect amount of time. I think I, I put five, six hours into it and that's all I needed. I got my story. It's not exactly the more satisfying story for me. Um, I had my fun with it. It kind of showed me everything I could do. My time as a tentacle monster was appreciated and it was just the perfect length. Like it wasn't anything crazy. Um, it was really fun in the beginning. It was cool to see the ideas. And when it was over, I was like, hey, that was good. I don't need to do any more. So even if like there was a sequel to this game, I can't say I would be super excited to get into it unless there was really something cool. If you're really into horror and like dark, tone games which i am not you might get more out of this game because that's the tone of it and that just kind of bores me after a while i can't really get into those types of games for so long and uh yeah after i've exhausted all my ways to kill humans i've kind of um i was satisfied with that so i, di I didn't need to play it anymore um, but shout out to the developers and the publishers, um, Devolver Digital, it was a really good idea. The marketing leading up to this game's launch was amazing. I love that they actually made the puppet in one of those Devolver Digital uh, games. They actually like made a big blob that was supposed to be the carry-on monster. It's a cool concept. They pulled it off very well. It's a very unique Metroidvania, definitely not the best. It's a, it's a solid game worth the, the experience. And I think you can get it for fairly cheap. So it's a game I definitely recommend playing. Um, and I would love to see more cool ideas like this. So if you've seen other games with very unique mechanics, bonus points if it's a Metroidvania, do recommend it uh, to me down in the comments. I'd love to check it out. Otherwise, I'll see you on the next Hey Dear Review. And until then, keep it classy.